morning guys uh so uh this morning i woke up to this sound we were laying in bed and um my dogs were already restless it's like 5 5 30 this morning and the dogs are already restless they're already kind of walking around pace and wanting to go out and and, and then i started started hearing this sound i'd love to i'd love to try uh doing this sound but i don't think i can do it justice but it's like kind of sound like um you know like a bird but it wasn't and it was kind of like going it was like exhaling this deep breath like ha and then while it, so this is a terrible reenactment it's what i got right now though ha! and eventually it's like it's dawns on me as i lay in bed um no pun intended with the dawning and it being morning um it just happened yeah just like that just some horrible puns some dad puns there it is anyways uh, so we're, me, my wife's like, what is that noise? And I'm like, I don't know. Let the dogs out. Let them deal with it. And eventually she's like, don't you want to know what it is? And and so I finally get up and I look out my window and I don't know, you can see the truck. So right on the lawn right there, um, our window is the one, uh, you know, all the way to the truck side of the house. That's where I was looking out that window. Or the one the curtains open. I think it's the one I actually looked at. The one the curtains open you see there. Anyways, so I look out and right on the uh, uh on just on the upper hill side of the the truck there on the driver's side of the truck is a fox. And it's making and it I watched him he, I mean it's close. I could watch him open his mouth and go Hurr! So first of all, uh, I don't know if you guys remember the song what does a fox say? Ding ding ding. I now know what a fox says. Uh and um, anyways, he's sitting down like a pretty, pretty fox, a little tiny, pretty fox. But he's staring directly at my cat, who is less than on the other side of the truck. So really, the truck separated him. That, that was the distance between the two animals. The fox has been eating up everyone's chickens. You can see the farm up behind me. And so the, uh, the fox has been eating up the chickens of our neighbors and our and all these people around us, uh, plus I can't remember else, some other, it's, it's been pretty destructive to the animals in the area, and he is staring down my cat, and two things, one, you know, I'm not sure the fox is going to catch the cat, I don't know, but that cat will, the second thing is that cat is going to give that fox a run for his money, he mean his nails, uh, good luck, Mr. Fox, but it did get me to thinking, um, you know, as I, as I, I left the room, obviously, went and got a rifle, and as I walked outdoors, the, the fox, the fox kind of ran away, and, uh, you know, I was wondering, what's got your six? What's got my six? What's got my backside? Like, this morning, I had my cat's backside, and, uh, you know, but the idea of that fox just kind of like, you know, the predator kind of just watching over its prey, and it was evident. It was a clear picture of it. I wish I got my phone up, and uh, so you wouldn't be looking at me right now, and I could have videoed the, 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 the fox, the predator, looking over its prey, and um, fortunately, I got up, and I, and I, you know, had my, and I went out and scared the fox away, got the rifle, and um, the, I, I regret to inform you, I did not shoot the fox. Um, next time, hopefully he comes around. His fate will be a different one than today. He's still, he's still about. Um, but it got me to thinking, like, what's got your, our backside? Who's watching over us? Who comes, who comes to our, our rescue when the, you know, the predators are kind of watching over us? And uh, the question that I just kind of like the idea of who, who's got your six? Who's got your backside? Uh, so this morning I was reading... And uh, Proverbs 3, and I think it's just verses 24 through 25. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden fear, nor of the onslaught of wicked when it comes. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep, you f keep your foot from being caught. That's who's got your backside. That's who's got your six. You can rest easy knowing God's got your six. He's got your backside. He says, 24, when you lie down, you will not be afraid. You have nothing to be afraid of if you know that God has your six. If God's got your backside, you have nothing to be afraid of. Do not be afraid of sudden fear, nor of the onslaught of wicked when it comes. Because if you get up each day and, and, and put the full armor of God on, not only does God have your six, but you also are protecting yourself 
maybe like the, i don't know if that cat could protect himself i don't think the cat's got the full armor or any kind of armor but he's got you know whatever cat instincts he's got and he is mean but i'm telling you that we need to protect ourselves with the full armor of god get into ephesians and um you, i do this I literally every day uh someday i'll show you my uh, calendar and i and i track it every day so if you're struggling getting up each day and getting in the word and putting that full armor of god on you can i encourage you this get yourself um a calendar of some kind and just put a mark on it that you did it that day and what happens is over time is you build weeks of the x or mine mine i do i put a date in. i just got lines you know saturday sunday saturday sunday monday through friday lines and then just each day a corresponding line i put the day's date in and now it's filled up to roughly not quite six months i've been doing this but there's a lot of dates on there and i don't want to miss another date and um so i get up each and every day and put the full armor of god on i say the prayer if you're looking for a good prayer i, I think we have a good one that we you know that was given to me um it is a great uh, we got always got trucks going by here it's a dirt road, old backcountry dirt road up here in the hills. But man, we got a lot of traffic um, with those trucks that run by here. Uh, anyways, I kind of got a little sidetracked there. But we have to continually each day get up. And if we're struggling doing that, but we want to, our heart is to get up each day, get in the word, to know who's got our six, to make sure that we are doing what we need to fully equip ourselves for that day. Put the full armor of God on so we can defend ourselves against the attacks of the fox. That fox, it looks to, looks to eat us up. Like uh, come kill and destroy, rob, steal and destroy your lives, your children's lives, your parents' lives, and, and he'll do it through you. And that, you know, so uh, I hope I encourage you today for this. One, that God has your six. He is going to protect you from whatever is standing over your corner. Like that fox this morning is standing over my cat. And he was going to, I'm guessing, uh, might you know, there was going to be a, a battle was going to ensue of some kind. But uh, fortunately, I got up and I had my, my cat's backside and I, protect, you know, got the, at least I scared off the fox. I wasn't able to, uh, you know, kill it and, uh, and protect him that way. But nonetheless, God, ha you can take the kind of confidence that God has your six. He has your backside. I promise you this. And then what, what we need to do in turn is get in the word each and every day. Uh, I think journal, you know, some sort of quick journaling is good if you're if you're struggling doing this, and then some sort of just marking daily that you're doing it. Get yourself a little system, get yourself a routine, get yourself a habit, and watch as the days go by. Watch as God blesses you for being obedient in that area of your life, and then watch yourself as you grow and become uh, the, the the peace that surpasses all understanding. You start to understand new joy in your life. You start to understand a contentment in that you you know when you lie down at sleep, you go to sleep at night um, as this says again um oh the wind blew this thing uh when you lie down you will not be afraid are you struggling with uh depression fear anxiety i'm telling you right now there's a cure it is in the word of god it is in understanding that god has your six always and what jesus christ did on the cross for you hey y'all have a blessed day listen please hit subscribe uh hit like i could really use the uh encouragement uh today i'm not uh i haven't been doing these videos often videos as often and uh some of it's just feeling uh, a sense of discouragement um so hey leave me a comment let me know pray for me and uh y'all keep the faith and be blessed